To put it simply, ladies and gentlemen, everything is evolving into something more intriguing. In the name of bringing about a revolution in the world of finance, the Federal Reserve is generating excitement by posing the possibility of driving the price of XRP ripple to $1,000 or even higher. The largest institutions in the world were unable to ignore such news, and even the former chief executive officer of Ripple warned that the Federal Reserve would raise the price of XRP to $10,000 this month. Do you feel prepared to undergo substantial changes? Those videos are going to blow your mind. Make sure you don't miss a single second of it. I hereby defer. Let's go into the recent buzz that has been surrounding the Federal Reserve and its curious stance on the utilization of XRP, which is a digital asset that is gaining a reputation in the world of finance at a quick pace. The Federal Reserve has generated conversations by implying that they could be able to include XRP into their payment infrastructure in a recent announcement that they made. This information has caused shockwaves to go across the cryptocurrency community and beyond, sparking conversations about the potential repercussions that this may have for the value of XRP and its function in the global financial system. A significant individual who sheds light on this trend is David Andalo, who is the senior vice president of the branch of the Federal Reserve that is located in St. Louis. This statement highlights the essential role that Ripple has played in transforming the payment processing industry, with a special emphasis on the role that XRP plays inside Ripplenet. Words spoken by Andalo reverberate for an external party, such as Ripple, might be given the responsibility of settling the dispute by the Federal Reserve. This statement not only highlights the Federal Reserve's recognition of Ripple's capabilities, but it also provides a hint at the possibility of a relationship that has the ability to transform the landscape of international transactions. The Federal Reserve has already highlighted the potential of XRP, so this is not the first time they have done so. Previous statements have made speculations about the possibility of using XRP as a viable alternative for improving the blockchain component of their FedNow payment service. Ripple's reputation as a pioneer in the field of international payments is given additional credibility by the fact that it has received such recognition from a dominant financial institution. The reputation that Ripple has earned speaks for itself. Ripple, which is well known for its innovative solutions, has been at the forefront of the movement to alter traditional payment systems into something that is more efficient mechanisms that are both transparent and cost-effective. Ripple has established itself as a key player in the digital payment industry thanks to the attention it has received from both traditional financial institutions and tech enthusiasts alike for its open source technology for financial transactions. The possible incorporation of XRP by the Federal Reserve in conjunction with Ripple's well-known reputation for innovation represents a substantial shift in the manner in which we understand and make use of digital assets inside the infrastructure of the financial system. One thing is quite evident now that we are eagerly awaiting future developments. It is possible that the disruptive power of blockchain technology may soon overtake the period of traditional payment systems. XRP and Ripple are at the forefront of the movement toward a more integrated and efficient financial future. Having said that, let's make a brief change of gears. In spite of the fact that conversations around the possible incorporation of XRP by the Federal Reserve are undeniably fascinating, let's zero in on something that is more relevant to the lives of many of us. Ripple's pricing expressed in XRP. Prepare yourselves because the predictions that crypto specialists and analysts are making has the potential to completely blow your mind. XRP Ripple has the capacity to not only produce waves, but also a tidal wave of money, which could potentially mint a new generation of millionaires. This is what we were talking about. Are you curious? I encourage you to remain here because you are about to learn how high the potential ceiling is for the value of XRP Ripple. It would appear that the notion of XRP Ripple reaching $1,000 is not merely a wild fantasy. The foundation of this is a profound comprehension of Ripple's revolutionary solution for the enormous market for international payments, which is estimated to be worth $300 trillion. Think about this. Imagine a world in which sending money across international borders is as easy as sending an email would be. Through the implementation of its cutting-edge on-demand liquidity product that is powered by XRP, Ripple is working toward the realization of this vision. In essence, Ripple acts as a bridge between several currencies making it possible for financial institutions to transmit money across international borders in a matter of seconds and with minimum expenses. A sector that has been plagued for a long time by inefficiencies and high costs is about to experience a paradigm shift as a result of this. The capacity of XRP to process enormous amounts of international payments is a critical factor in determining whether or not it will be able to reach $1,000. Additionally, reports from respectable sources such as JP Morgan and Grayscale have highlighted the potential for XRP to release more than $120 billion worth of cash that has been imprisoned, highlighting the significant role that it plays in the global financial environment. 
But what are the conditions that must be met for XRP to achieve such extraordinary heights? Now, demand isn't the only factor to consider. It also has to do with supply. Given that there are 55 billion XRP tokens in circulation, the cryptocurrency would have to handle daily payment volumes that range from $1 trillion to $20 trillion in order to justify a price tag of $1,000. However, there are going to be some bumps in the road. There is a significant amount of uncertainty in the industry, as well as regulatory obstacles and technological constraints, on the horizon. Another layer of complexity has been added to the mix as a result of the ongoing legal struggle between Ripple and the SEC. This litigation has placed a shadow of doubt over the future of XRP. However, although there is a lot of skepticism, there is still reason for optimism. Jeremy Hogan, a legal expert, believes that there is a possibility of a settlement occurring in the near future. If it does, it would provide the much required certainty and stability that XRP need in order to flourish. In the grand scheme of things, a price objective of $1,000 for XRP may appear to be bold nevertheless. In a world where innovation is not limited by any boundaries, it is not completely out of reach. As Ripple continues to transform the way we think about international payments, the sky is the limit for XRP Ripple, and the possibility that it may generate a new generation of millionaires is too tantalizing to ignore. Ripple is a cryptocurrency that is built on the blockchain. Now, let's shift our focus to an important aspect, which is the broad use of XRP Ripple by major financial institutions. In the end, the acceptance of XRP by these financial behemoths is the determining factor in whether or not its full potential can be realized. But this is when things become really interesting. The implications of XRP Ripple are astonishing, and the fact that it is already making ripples in the world of institutional finance is quite significant. Prepare yourselves for the information that I am about to give has the potential to profoundly alter your outlook on XRP Ripple, as well as the possibility that its value will climb to levels that are higher than $1,000. Permit me to expand. We are about to embark on an adventure that will take us inside the fascinating world of Ripple's partnership with central banks, a partnership that is transforming the landscape of global finance as we know it. The partnership between Ripple and the Federal Reserve has been officially acknowledged and the terms of the partnership are detailed on their website. This is a move that has never been executed before. Ripple's emergence as a prominent participant in the field of central banking is signaled by this statement, which has marked a pivotal point in the growth of digital payments. Ripple's contribution to this relationship may be described as nothing less than revolutionary. It was noted in the statement that Ripple is on the verge of providing innovative payment solutions in conjunction with the Federal Reserve. This will usher in a new era of financial transactions that are both efficient and transparent. There is an abundance of evidence that supports Ripple's partnership with central banks. Ripple's significant role in the improvement of payment systems around the world has been highlighted in a number of reports published by renowned institutions such as the Bank of England, the International Monetary Fund, and the Federal Reserve Board. On the other hand, this collaboration did not come about immediately. Ripple's logo was prominently displayed during a segment on Fox News that was about the Federal Reserve. This was an indication of Ripple's growing influence in the corridors of power, and it was one of the early markers of this trend. Ripple's influence goes extremely far beyond the boundaries of the United States, as evidenced by the fact that its alliances and collaborations cover multiple continents. A revolutionary cryptocurrency on demand liquidity service has been introduced by Ripple in Brazil, which has the potential to completely transform the country's financial technology ecosystem. As Russian President Vladimir Putin works to diversify away from traditional payment systems, Ripple's technology is gaining acceptance in the country. To what end? To create a digital currency that is issued by the Russian Central Bank and is based on the XRP ledger with the goal of assuring that Russia will continue.